Hello, I'm Dr. Peter Hosen, board certified ophthalmologist at Tiani Institute. Today I'll be talking about corneal abrasion and corneal ulcer. What is the cornea? The cornea is the clear front window to the eye. It is actually the most exquisitely sensitive organ in the eye. If there is a scratch, the nerve endings get exposed and cause exquisite pain. There are more nerves on the front of the eye than anywhere else in the body. So when a scratch occurs, it doesn't feel good. What are the symptoms of a corneal abrasion? Typically, patients have a foreign body sensation. They may be exquisitely sensitive to light. Lastly, if the abrasion is in the middle of the cornea, it can cause decreased vision. What is the treatment for corneal abrasion? First, antibiotic eye drops to prevent infection. Second, aggressive lubrication to prevent the abrasion from getting worse. And third, an eye ointment that is applied at bedtime. The antibiotic eye ointment provides two things. One, antibiotic coverage, but more importantly, as we lubricate the eye, it reduces the chance that as we open our eyelid in the morning, it won't cause a re-scratch of the original scratch. If prompt care is not initiated from a scratch, a corneal ulcer can develop. This is an actual infection that bacteria penetrate the scratch and then start involving the deeper surfaces of the cornea. The symptoms of corneal ulcer are about the same as abrasion, foreign body sensation, tearing, light sensitivity, but typically there is more pain as there is active infection and inflammation ongoing. The treatment for corneal ulcer is almost the same as for a corneal abrasion, antibiotic drops, and antibiotic ointment. However, the frequency of the drops is much more in an ulcer as this could potentially be a site-threatening infection. Depending on the size and location of the ulcer, therapy up to every hour may be indicated. Careful follow-up of the ulcer is important to make sure that the infection is being adequately treated. If it looks like the antibiotic drops are not working, then stronger drops may be prescribed and the frequency of the dosing may be increased. I hope you found this information useful. We look forward to taking care of you here at Tiani Institute.